I will take you to a journey which will blow your mind. I don't know about you, but I always wanted to be an explorer, and going on a safari was a dream of mine since I was a little kid. I remember watching the documentary series on the National Geographic and Discovery Channels, dreaming about one day I will go to Africa and see these wild animals with my own eyes. And here I am. There are several national parks and reserves in Africa where you can go on a safari. For example, the Serengeti National Park in Tanzania and the Masai Mara Park in Kenya. And these areas are famous for the Great Migration, when millions of wildebeest, zebras and other animals move from one area to another in search for food and water. A safari is like going to the zoo, but instead of the animals being locked up, they are free to roam. Basically, you are the one who is caged. You have to spend all day in your jeep because you are not allowed to leave the car. But it's definitely worth it. It is the perfect way to experience nature without actually having to, you know, hike or do anything. On the first day we headed to the Tarangire National Park and as soon as we entered we felt like we are in a nature documentary. Most of the tourists want to see the big five. The elephant, the lion, the buffalo, the leopard and the rhino. The most dangerous creatures in Africa. Besides them, I also wanted to see giraffes, zebras and hippos. It is so crazy to see elephants this close. They are just minding their own business. And once, a family with a baby was even crossing the road in front of our jeep. How cute is that? The day just was keep giving. We also spotted zebras just chilling by a pond. And by the way, are zebras white with black stripes or black with white stripes? Who cares? We saw giraffes looking down us from above, and more elephants and zebras, and also monkeys, which try to steal our food. But the cherry on top happened to the way back to the camp. We spotted two lions laying in the shade, giving zero F to us. We stayed at the lodge and it was pretty great, I expected much worse. And why enjoy the comfort of your own bed when you can sleep in the savanna, surrounded by bugs and insects that could kill you in your sleep? I was not sure if we could top the first day, as we were heading to the Norongoro crater, the world's largest inactive empty volcano. In my mind I was like, that's it, we saw everything and now we will stare at dirt and bushes all day. And boom! Jeeps were standing in line to get a better view of three lions eating a new. And of course, like in the films, hyenas were waiting for their turn in the distance. It was crazy, scary and cool at the same time. Being trapped in a vehicle, surrounded by predators, it's like being in a real-life version of the Jurassic Park. Later we stopped for lunch and finally stretched a little. Of course we were reminded that we are in the wild and could also end up like this poor wildebeest. Afternoon we headed to the hippo pool, where several of them were just having a spa day. They need to fling mud and water onto their back to keep their skin moisturized and cool, otherwise they will get sunburned. The trip didn't stop, as we spotted gazelles, elephants, and you can see but there are rhinos far behind these zebras in the distance. And on the next day we went to the Lake Natron, near the border with Kenya, which is the home to the one of the largest populations of flamingos. After all, out of the big five, the only animal we didn't see was the leopard. But we tried our hardest. We also had amazing Maasai guides, who took us to a short hiking trip through a canyon. We had to cross a small stream and climb the rocks, but ended up at an amazing hidden waterfall. Most travelers during these safaris want to see African dances and performances, and I was so grateful we didn't get to show when our guides took us to their village. They shared stories about their history, traditions and way of life. 
For me, it is important to experience different cultures. It helps me better understand the world and how different, yet similar we are. And this trip showed me that kids are kids all around the world. They like to twirl, laugh and also fascinated by gadgets. The best part about going to an African safari is to experience the thrill of the unknown. Just go and live by the Hakuna Matata mentality. In Swahili, Hakuna means there is not and Matata means problem. So Hakuna Matata literally means there is no problem. And by the way, the words Pumba and Simba from the Lion King movies are also Swahili words and Simba literally means lion. As I said, going on a safari is an experience that you will never forget. If you are also planning to go and have questions, just drop them in the comments below. If you want to know what to pack and when to travel, you will find a blog post on my website. The link is in the bio. If you want to experience the world through my eye, follow me on TikTok and Instagram. And please support me by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. See you in the next one, where I will take you to Zanzibar. Ciao!